run it on hard and then ultra combo omen when you get to him. Hopefully. But Arya is kind of a glass cannon now that I think about it. For too long. Yes. Well, she's progress, more involved. And endured in weakness. There was Plot, a time though. When every day the human race was confronted with hardships. Yes. Plot. It overcame them all. Now humanity is an insipid, distracted species, dooming itself to pointless lives with little desire to evolve. And the future is on its doorstep. Humanity's day is passing. It is only a matter of like how there's like two different glaciers. I mean, technically, there's all, there's been two different. I I am aware. It's just the one decided is like I'm going to go crabman style. Humanity is on the eve of its greatest trial. And Arya is here to relieve humans of their weaknesses and drag them kicking and screaming into the future. And then Arya does the dumb thing, make an artificial human body for herself to explore the world. Ish? Two years ago, using decoy long range distress signals, Arya lures glaciers to the Earth's surface. Securing the alien's technology will be the first step to an advanced humanity. And then all you found out is she has her own fan. That <laughs> See, I fucking fully believe that. I would not be surprised fucking like she has a straight fucking rule 34 page that's fucking a mile long. I believe it. Can you fuck it? What? Can you fuck it? The robot. Did I fucking stutter? Yes, she did. Monster, hear that one guy in the back room. I don't know, but Arya kind of thick, though. Really, man? That's what you're into? Man, yeah, unless you upgrade her to be thick and sure. <laughs> right? Well, she's I was thinking this. more along the lines of, like, you know, it's kind of like some of the Devorah stuff I saw, where I'm sitting there like, what the fuck are you all fucking watching? <laughs> oh, when it comes up, like, she's thick, and it's like... There's like no, not a single thick thing on her. Thank you. All right. Yeah, man. Oh man, she real thick though. Are we looking at the same picture? <sighs> like, oh, she has a butt. That's she must be thick. I'm like. You know it's fucking anatomy at a certain point, right? Mm-hmm. So like he has an ass, and not like it's like yeah, you was like yeah, if her, her if her shit was like but I'm like Shermy is thick. Shermy is thick, yes. So it's like <laughs> mm. what the fuck y'all was like the Dragon Ball Z characters in Super are fucking skinny as shit. Mm-hmm. Besides the fact that Boma every couple of years she gets Dragon Balls to literally give herself a freaking butt lift, facelift, and all that other extra shit. I'm like, really? Mm. Really, Bulma? That's, that, that's what you use the Dragon Balls for? That's some bullshit. That, that surprises you? No, I was like, that's some extra bullshit. You are a super genius. You could easily just nano machine yourself to do all of that. Versus but she doesn't. Versus getting the gr the the magical witch granting dragon to do the thing, hell, she can make the singular the singular wish to always be youthful, to always be her youthful, beautiful self, and blah blah blah. Period. It's like, eh, th 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 that's the easiest thing. Mm. Part of me was kind of hoping in like, oh yeah, Dragon Ball Super, they make a, they do the Shadow Dragon arc and talk about the, the misregious use of the Dragon Ball. But yeah, I'm waiting for the, you know, that payoff. Because that was like the only thing that was good from GT. I've never actually sat down and watched GT, to be honest with you. That's good. Trust me. I know. A lot of people tell me the same fucking thing, so... It's worth it. Don't listen to him, Daz. He's lying to you! 
I do know fucking apparently Vegeta gets like fucking some of the best story writing for him on that one. In some areas. Super is just everyone's stupid ass fanfic from DeviantArt. No, Toriyama found people's DeviantArt page of Dragon Ball characters like, huh, this is a good idea. I'm going to use this. Well, I was thinking more along the lines, fucking's like. <laughs> and it sounds bad, but it's like, oh yeah, no, that fucking, like, that. Fucking Super DBZ movie? Yeah, no, fucking. I, I can't let that fucking be the last fucking image of DBZ, so yeah. Which DBZ movie? The live action. Oh, uh, Evolution? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, no. There were other live action Dragon Ball movies before that. Like, 80s, 70s era. It doesn't matter. Fucking, like, Toriyama saw that and it's like. I cannot let this be the last fucking iteration of fucking DBZ. Yeah. Yeah. He said, alright, cool, bet. Watch this. No one ruins my franchise but me. Uh, right. Toriyama, I don't think that I don't think that was supposed to be the goal there. Ruining it in three, two, one. Toriyama, wait! <laughs> Arya attempts to recruit Sadira and her League of Assassins to head up Ultra Tech's clandestine operations, but assassins only respect power, and a display of force is required. It's like, oh, well, sad he's trying to do something on his little monitor thingy. I'll mess that up. And then suddenly, for no reason, that, for whatever reason, the cat just starts just typing on the keyboard and Das gets freaked out. <laughs> Becomes a new Freakazoid. That'd be some joke. Which was hilarious. It just had this weird type sequence that a cat just walking on the keyboard somehow did. I'm like, that is a hell of a coincidence. It's hilarious to me. Oh, That's kind of the whole point, though. What are the odds? I'm not gonna lie, fucking, I still think fucking Freak Code's kinda underrated. He dropped up by us crazy, cause that's his lunatic! He doesn't actually drive me crazy, I, at a certain point, like, I, I just, I, I'm walking with him to some bullshit. He's getting him just on his own. Other damn show that came out with Freak Zoid. Earth of Warm Gem. Besides that, I remember Earth of Gem. Yeah, I do too. That's why I talk yeah, about it. Like, <laughs> uh, it's not Earth of Warm Gem, I'm trying to remember. It's. I want to say Road Rope. There's a lot of things that came on that time frame. Animaniacs is no, no, another no. one, so. I want to say it's called Road Rope, because it had people. Dolls that basically became anthropomorphic and they're trying to save the wolf who was an evil dude that turned out to be a cat too long ago. Yeah, I'll go over here. Thank you. Thank you, Dio. Like, it was, it's like, it's in the back of my mind. Like, I want to say that was the one, because I, I vaguely remember the opening sequence, because the Golden Retriever had super speed. There was a husky that had ice Um, a German Shepherd that had basically super biting lockjaw like kind of thing, and you basically hear like a bear trap snap every time he bit somebody. Mm. Well, uh, with Glacius technology, Ultra begins to develop the world's most advanced super soldiers. It is a beautiful it's machine, a but requires a massive amount of power. The reason I don't play Arya. But she's your waifu. But uh, she's more like mother foo. Milk. Okay, I had to go watch the Robo. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, okay, now I remember. I, I fully remember the series now. And I also was watching the freaking like, intro as well. Freaking sword! Freaking sword! Z was started singing it like, I kinda wanna watch it now. Like, ah, nostalgia. That that shotgun knee is so goddamn good. What's this? I you want me to place your legs with shotguns? I mean, I did watch actually the fucking uh, <laughs> the death battle with fucking Megatron and Frieza. Frieza. Uh, that was... that was so fucking clunky. I'm not even gonna lie. It was so yeah, yeah. That one doesn't make very much sense. Well, like, it doesn't help the fact that, like, oh yeah, by the way, they're the same size as, like, y you do realize they're fucking, like, ridiculously different sizes, right? It's not even that, it's just the fact that, like, oh yeah, Megatron was fucking, like, Megatron's, like, two goddamn stories, and you're like, oh yeah, no, it's, like, two it's fine. Two stories, depending on which iteration of Megatron. Right. Like, that's not. That's just the whole Rainbow Dash versus Star Scream all over again. It really is. That's the sad part. It is. I know they're doing the full logic of data of these it, these imaginary characters in life. Come on. Come on. Megatron controlling antimatter. Yeah, Frieza should be gone. Pure. The end. Antimatter don't mean like oh an oh my power level is strong. From any sort of logic and actual scientific standpoint, antimatter don't give the slightest of buzz of how strong you are. If it touches you, you die. Mm hmm. And they even did say in this fucking episode, like, oh yeah, no, it's like, yeah, no, if like the antimatter could kill him, could kill him. It's like, what do you mean could? It's like, it's either a yes or a no. Or a no. Yeah, there's no maybe or could, would, or should not. There's no coulda, woulda, should. Antimatter either mm -hmm. can kill it or can't. Well, either way, one year ago, the Fulgore program required a human element in order to achieve its full potential. But her prize was not won easily as she thought. Wait, how do you use, like, It's a word? harsh learning curve. It, it is what it is. I just, it just. I fucking have to get better, is all. I was saying, like, in your instant mode, how do you use, like, a little drone thing that's floating around? Well, I don't know all of Arya, obviously. I barely know any of Arya. This is the hell of a Pretty much. Mostly, I'm just kind of waiting for him to make mistakes. So basically, any fighting game uh, stuff. I mean, it, it works. So yeah. Wait for the mistakes, and to capitalize and punish. Grab fucking gets me every time. Cause I'm not looking for it. Oh, yeah. 
You got projectiles, Doc. Use them. I saw it. And I did use them, actually. That was the sad part. Well, I got that one. Well. How many more left? Oh, about five. Oh boy. Awesome victory. Oh no. What? Well, besides the fact it's AI generated, I put Dio's posting Kratos meeting Jesus. <laughs> After years of research, Ultrek has finally decoded Glacius DNA sample stolen in the fight with Arya. Work begins on the hybrid sword, the best of humanity, and the alien genetics. How does she get the genetic material from Glacius? <laughs> I'm just kind of dealing with the facts, like, oh yeah, by the way, I fucking enjoy the facts, like, you know, you're fighting Cinder now. What's this, another skill check out of nowhere from the, <laughs> from the days of KI past? No, Cinder usually wasn't that bad, to be honest with you. Cinder was actually one of the first ones. No, you're not wrong. I know I'm not wrong. It was usually Glacius spine. Glacius alive. was the fucking skill check. 100%. Yeah, it was Glacius spine idol. Yeah, it was like the third person you always fought. Mm hmm. They're like combo, you fought. It's like combo, you fight first. You go like. Uh, it's like combo and synth and either Serpent or Cinder. Jago or Orchid, but then it's like, Glacius was always, a, always like number 5 or some shit. For like, some uh, fucking uh, reason, it was weird. Like, yo, oh, hey buddy, how you doing? Looks like okay. you got better out of fighting games, huh? That's, 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 hey, remember when you fucking thought you were good? Yeah. <laughs> better have them quarters ready, kid. Oh, uh, what you gonna do? Oh, uh, was that, uh, was that a jump in? Uppercut? <laughs> Here comes that uppercut combo. Win! Now. I can see a stage if you do basically kick him into the lava. Oh, just fucking easy. 100%. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, Orchid has been a thorn in Arya's side for too long, and has now recruited allies. But Arya has a plan that should lead her directly to her their hiding spot. Really? You're just gonna fucking shout out? Fuck yourself. Okay.
Yeah, that's fair. At least I burned your fucking instinct, which I wanted. Oh, I even got the ultra. So you can go fuck yourself? Ooh, all right. <laughs> One step closer to fucking wiping out ultra tax problems. The world cannot rely on you. Ultra Tech Labs detected a dimensional disturbance in South America. Arya investigates it herself, discovering the sorcerer Con Raw Delirious. Oh, goody. Oh, great, now she's gonna get sand in her joints. Ah, oh, the fucking geese! Predictable! over here yeah I'll be over here Send him into the portal. I thought about it. Yeah, just just run basic bullshit. Don't try and be fancy. This with the character. <laughs> this with the character I'm having don't... a lot of problems with. Yes. Yeah, we, yeah, a lot of problems. We barely know what's going on with. Like I said, I, I give props to people who main Arya outright. They probably spent hours labbing her, understanding all the ins and outs of her skills and extra stuff. Right? For especially for dealing with fucking jackasses like Gon Raw, where it's like, oh yeah, it's like everything I'm doing, yeah, you can stop that. What's this? You're trying to get close to me? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I spent most of that fucking fight just right there fucking just like, oh yeah, can I get close? Can I shoot him at least close enough? That was me. I tried. I tried. Oh, I got it! <laughs> it was clutch, but I got it. Alright. Arya saw this day coming. 
She spent years planning this precise moment, years of developing weapons and securing powerful allies, until finally it was time to put the plan in motion. The temple in South America was just the spark. The oh right, he needs to alter that ass. Mm-hmm. Lust for power, and a few poorly guarded breadcrumbs led him right where Arya wanted. The fault of releasing Gargos, the ancient terror, lies with the sorcerer. Earth's forces are outmatched, and at this moment, Ultratech's enemies are being silenced, leaving Arya poised to rally all of the world under her banner as the savior of humanity. So I have to ultra Omen. You have to ultra him. <laughs> Specifically him. Yeah. I'm gonna take a quick second and I'm gonna come back and deal with him. I'm creating What is anything? All right. Oh, yeah. Wait, waits Gaga's first glimpse of Earth to be of her destroying his prized herald. Just have to ultra omen. Mm -hmm. Man, let's double checking shit. Just or open. not. Don't have to. Don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dio. Thank you for that insight. Yep. So ultras with kicks. Okay. Sorts of shows, like yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'm watching. Yeah, and he already knocked me down. Fucking one form. All right. I want to say Omen falls in the glass. He is, he is actually in very much in the glass can category. It doesn't make any, him any less of a threat. Yeah, because he has very good mobility. Especially once he goes into instinct. Because instinct is the dangerous form, because 
every move he does fucking like throws out a fucking ball. Projectile at you. I'm just kind of fucking trying to shut it down his offense as it comes. I mean, you almost, you're almost there. I still gotta get the ultra. That's that's a whole nother argument. Got it. Ooh, all right. All right, what bullshit you got for fucking level eight? The world cannot rely on you. Awesome you just had to ultra him specifically, right? Yep. Okay. In 1948, you double check to make sure. Lot. Right? Riot Adams made a promise to free the world from poverty, from war, from frailty. For over 60 years, the Ultrafine Atomic Technologies Company has been working toward that goal. Bringing medical treatments and vaccinations to over 40 countries. Inventing technologies that extend human lifespan and intelligence. And in 1989, Ultratech gave us its greatest gift. The Advanced Robotics Intelligence Architecture, known to the world as ARIA the first sentient artificial being on planet Earth. Aria was built to see Mr. Adams's promise of peace come true. Long after he left us. America, we have breaking news for you. A video of the sky opening up above the downtown area and what appears to be a creature of unknown origin. The residents are fleeing the city and the president has declared a state of emergency. Time to evolve. Initiate physical response. 